Hey guys, this slug here. Extremely excited to show you guys the new tier version 3 that was just released yesterday. And this is the first video that any of us are making on it. And this is actually, not only is it a tutorial video on how to use the total email autoresponder, but it's also a case study tutorial video on how to set up some adult traffic and this can be applied to basically any niche that you're working in whether you're trying to sell um, biz, business opportunity offers, payday loan offers, adult dating offers, uh, any kind of paper lead things, real estate or maybe you have your own product that you're pushing. This can be basically applied to anything but in this specific example we're going to be working with setting up a campaign for adult traffic to get your leads to sign up to a dating site. Let's see. Okay, so here in this uh, in this text file here is basically the outline of this whole video and I'm going to try to make everything as fast as I possibly can because some of these things can get kind of tedious but once you get good at it, you can have a brand new campaign set up in just a few minutes and you got your traffic running and it's actually pretty easy. The first time is always the hardest, but it's really not that hard when you break it down into these steps. The first thing that you're going to need is a server to host here on. It, this isn't 100% needed. Uh, you can run tier on your own computer, on your Windows computer, or if you have a Mac, you have to run a Windows emulator. But the reason I like to run tier on a server is because let's say you're at home and your internet dies and you, you can't connect to the internet and or your computer dies, well that means your email campaigns are not running. That's why I like to host or to run the tier application on a server so it's always running 24 7 and I don't have to worry about it but if you're just starting out and you don't want to jump right into buying a server you can totally skip out on this part um, you're gonna want some web hosting for your POP3 email and you're going to want SMTP I'll go into a little bit on what exactly that is uh, some of you guys might not know what that is but it's actually very easy it's just sending and receiving emails there's not much to it so the first thing we're going to do is setting up your autoresponder, installing tier. This part is not hard. All we have to do is go to the tier website, totalemailautoresponder.com, and there's the big old download now and create free login button. You just click that, and there's very simple instructions on how to download tier right here you just click this button and download it and then create your free account and then for seven days you can use tier absolutely free so let's go ahead and do that click on this and down here we can see tier the tier setup is downloading great and that looks like it's almost done Yes, your computer is going to ask you some questions if you want to run it or not. Just say yes. And then we, here we get to the downloader install window. Just click next. I accept. It's going to install tier here in your C folder. Perfect. Yeah. All looks good. Create a desktop icon, of course, so I can find it easier later. Installing. Oh, what a beautiful thing. The last tier version didn't have the installer, so some people ran into some issues if their computer couldn't support something, one thing or another. Now we have an installer that takes care of all those bugs that some people were facing in the past. And finishing installation, great. Well, that was pretty quick. And it's done, great. You'll notice here that the Visit Vice Offers website thing is um, ticked here. I'll leave that ticked and launched here. Great. Vice Offers is a affiliate network, viceoffers.com. You should definitely go ahead there and sign up and I'm going to be using these guys in my example on um, the dating uh, offers that I'm going to be pushing inside of this campaign. We'll get to that in a second here. I'm actually going to uncheck it because I already have their website opened in another tab. So when you run tier, the first thing that you're going to see is this window here. And 
if you remember in tier version uh, 2.0.9, you had to create a serial and all that. That is all gone now. You just simply use your tier account and password to log in. Log in. What a beautiful thing. You'll notice up here it's going to tell you you have 0 out of 100 emails sent for today, left to send. Uh, if you're using the trial version, you can only send 100 emails a day. When, once you figure out the system and you know that you like it, just uh, simply click the Upgrade Now button and all, all the limitations will be removed. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is add a new campaign. Pretty simple. We're going to name this campaign Adult Traffic 1. And then simply click on it and click Open Campaign. And you can see up here that we are now inside this campaign. It's also very easy to change your campaigns. You can uh, add a new one. You could call it maybe Traffic 2 if you have a if you have a different autoresponder set up and you could easily switch between the two so you just click on adult traffic 2 and open it and you can see up here we're now in this campaign but let's go back to adult traffic 1 and open it and also if you want to switch campaigns between servers let's say you're running tier on this server or you have it on another server and you want to move a campaign over to a different computer you just go to campaigns click on adult traffic one or whichever campaign you want to export and say save the file and then you can actually save the the actual um, campaign somewhere and then later load it into your on, onto your other computer now we're going to move on to configuring your tier setup and all the different features that tier has so up here in the on the top uh, section, you can see there's a couple tabs up here like help, um, some tools uh, like a email validator and duplicate finder. If you have if you want to import big lists of emails, you can uh, remove duplicates and a few things with this. But when you click on settings, this is pretty important. So remove filtered and remove non-filtered emails. This is uh, checked by default. These are your POP3 options and your SMTP options. Normally, I just I don't really check any of these depending on what I'm doing. You can uh, set how many threads you have. I usually like to keep it around three. It sends emails pretty fast, so anything more than that, in my opinion, is an overkill. Unless you upload a huge list, then you, you might want 10, but I, I don't usually ever go over 5. Uh, your POP3 settings, what, what this means, remove filtered and remove non-filtered, is if when it checks your email account for emails in your inbox, and then it matches them to a filter, it's going to remove them out of there. So this is a good way to keep your inboxes from getting flooded during this whole process. Same here in the POP settings, you can uh, add or remove threads. You can also do your timer delays. So how the timer delay works is Right now it's set to five, so every five minutes it's going to run your POP3 check, which means it's going to check your email address for inbound leads. So when people respond to your email and their email is sitting in your inbox, it's going to take five minutes. Every five minutes this program is going to check that and scan them and pull extract those leads out of the email. When you first get tier, I basically you you don't really have to touch this. I'm just trying to go over so you can see some of the possibilities with this. Here you can see on SMTP in the general settings, the clock ignores. So let's say you don't want your software to email at from two to five in the morning. You would just add, um, yeah, you would just say add two, three. Four and five. 
it's going to tell the software that at the at these times just don't send emails it's going to ignore your smtp timer checker but i i personally don't use this i like it when it's always emailing if the guy's emailing you and it's two in the morning it means they're awake and they should get a reply in my opinion so the first thing you're going to want to do is probably add your POP3 and SMTP accounts. Let's go a little bit into what that is. Some of you who have never emailed before might be a little confused. And basically POP3 is receiving emails and SMTP is for sending emails. You could use your POP3 account can be the same as your SMTP account. Personally, I like to use um, paid SMTP because your inbox rates are much higher. So let's go ahead and add a SMTP account. In this example, I use um, SendGrid, and I use SendGrid for a lot of my campaigns, and I have very good success with them. If you head over to uh, the tier website in your account, if you scroll to the bottom, you can see here our partners page. And we have our list of partners. So here you can see reliable site. Um, just click click on this link and you'll be sent to them. Or send grid, just you know, click and you'll be sent right there. Uh, ReliableSite.net, these are this is our server. So I really like these guys for servers. They have really good costs. Their server never goes down and they're super fast. And then SendGrid over here is uh, one of my favorite SMTP services. And we got HostGator down here. Uh, if you click on this link, you get taken to a special offer page. I highly suggest going through us. Uh, go to totalemailautoresponder.com forward slash partners. And you'll, you can get all these links. These are all tested with our software and all of this works. I, if you have your own solution, go for it. But these are the guys that we like to work with. So when you sign up to your SMTP account, uh, once your account gets approved, they're going to send you your login information, and then you use that information to log into your uh, to connect your SMTP account into Tier. So I'll go ahead and add my information right now. Okay, so depending on who your SMTP provider is, uh, the ports might be a little different and whether you need the SSL checked or the TSL checked. Um, in this case, I usually ch have TLS checked on port 587 and then uh, click test account. And we can see account is working, great, add the account. And boom, it gets added in there. We can see everything it's enabled you want to make sure it's checked which means it's going to run it so when you're running your autoresponder by clicking this button it's going to use this as your SMTP account and then let's go ahead and add our POP3 account now what I like to do is I use HostGator for this so if you go back to our partners page and you click on our HostGator link down here You'll be taken here, and for $3.96 a month, you can get started. It's a great price. It's super cheap. These guys, I've never had a problem using them as for my emailing. So once you create your HostGator site with your domain, you're going to get your control panel, which looks like this. And you log into your control panel, and here you see a little box called email accounts. If you click on email accounts, this is where you create your email. So I went ahead and created Jessica and then at my domain. So this would be your domain right here. And then you know set your password. Um, and then the mailbox quota I set to unlimited and then just click the create account button. I'm not going to do that since I already have it down here. So just copy and paste your email address then go to tier and that is going to be your username the password will be the password that you just set 
and the host is your IP address that your website is hosted on. So to get that, go back to your cPanel from your HostGator account and then click on the home button. And then here on the side, you're going to see your stats. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to see down here, dedicated IP address. This is your host. So if you go back to tier, set that IP address as your host. And then your port, depending on who you're using, I know with HostGator, it's 110 and you want SSL unchecked. But if, if this isn't working, I would contact uh, their support and tell them that you can't connect via POP3 and they'll usually give you the right port and settings to use. So let's go ahead and test that. Oh, it's working as expected. Add it and then great. So that this process might be a little confusing at first, but it's actually very simple. So I want to make sure this is enabled, get that checked. So now we have our POP3 account and our SMTP account set up. You can use this POP3 account with HostGator as your SMTP, but there's some sending limits. HostGator allows only uh, 500 emails to be sent per hour, and obviously your inbox rates aren't going to be as good as if you're using uh, paid SMTP. That's why I like to use paid SMTP. You can play around with it. You can use different things, but this is the way I like it, and this is how I've had most success. So now that these two things are done, we can move on to setting up our templates, which is right under the accounts. Perfect. So just remember, when you start, the first thing you do is accounts, and then templates, and then boom, that's it. From name. So our girl, if we go back to accounts, is called Jessica. So we got Jessica, the from address. Okay, this is very important here. Um, you want to make sure that your from address is the same as your POP3 because if it's not, this is what people are going to reply to. So we're using our SMTP account to send the email and when and it uses this SMTP to send the email and it can be the re, the from address is whatever you set it in here. So if we accidentally like say Jessica with two A's at your domain.com all your responses are going to go to this email and it's not going to go to the right email. So we want to make sure that this is right. I, I know a lot of people that don't that mess up at this point and then they wonder why no emails are coming into their inbox. So just keep in mind that whatever the from address is, this is the email people are going to be replying to. So the subject, uh, let's just say, hey, it's Thanks for the reply. I don't know. You can get creative. You can make it cuter. You can make it sexier. I don't care. This is just for an example. So your first email might be like, hey, thanks for contacting me. I'm looking for a real man. XOXO pick for pick question mark I don't know I'm just kind of trying to come up with something and keep in mind we we offer um, you can do spin text so you can do like hey hi hello we even have tags if you click here on this um, the tags and variables button you will see all the available tags that you can use inside the email so to name this is a really good one I'm going to use this in the second template or like year, the day. Down here you can see the, the different variables like spin text or random number or random string. These are all things supported in tier. So this looks good for e response one. Yeah, we're going to make a response one template delay. Uh, some people like to have like a five minute delay on their emails to make them look a little more lifelike. I'm going to put a zero minute delay just so when I'm 
testing this with you guys. Um, it's a little quicker when I show you the actual process when it's running. So let's go ahead and add that template. Perfect. Let's create a response to. So just name it response to down here. This one could be like, yay, I don't know. Um, I added a pick for you, what do you think? And then you can click the attachment button here if you wanna add a picture. Please upgrade to use this feature. Okay, so actually I can't add the picture right now because this is not an upgraded account that I'm doing this example on, probably not the best idea. But yeah, normally you can just add a picture and it's uh, very easy. This subject, I'm going to make it response subject to make it look. Okay, and then this all looks good. So we can click on add template. Don't click on update template because if you click on update template, it's going to update your response one to response two. So make sure you click on add template. Perfect. So, and then let's just add our third one. And I, I like to send the link in the third email. So the third email could be like, Wow, I'm glad you liked my pick. We should meet up. Want a cam first? It's free to sign up. My username is XOXO Kitty Power. here's my page and then you can put your affiliate link for this video I'm going to be using vice offers which is a great affiliate network um, for any kind of dating dating offers they have everything from like health to um, like male enhancement workout supplements hair loss stuff adult dating they have iframes which do very well they have you know really good really good things you can if, if you like tier you can promote tier uh, through vice offers they vice offers is the same company that made tier so or you know it's a pretty legit affiliate network because they also have all this software and they, they just do a bunch of different things definitely very trustworthy so I'm gonna run this free hookups uh, offer which is paying hundred and ten dollars per sign up I am making a killing with this offer and if you don't know what to run I highly suggest at least giving this one a try so here when you click on the offer when you go to offers browse search then click on this offer you see you get your tracking link here I'm also gonna add a sub ID by clicking on this and I'll name it Jennifer so all sales made through this link will have the sub ID Jennifer on it just a little easier to help me keep track of which autoresponder is bringing me uh, sales so here we get your tracking link it looks pretty ugly it's long I would not don't stick this in your email it's not a good idea you wanna either shorten this URL I personally like to use uh, my own website domain redirects it's the most effective but for this example we can do like a quick um, Ali, Ali URL shortener, stick your long affiliate link in there, shrink it, play a little human game here, let's see, give, give food to the baby, baby can eat bananas and pears, continue, and there we go, this is our link, so we'll jump back into tier, stick it in there, um, the way it is now is good. I also like to hyperlink it just for added added measures to make sure it's good. And then here we go. Boom. Your response three is ready to be added. So we'll go ahead. Remember, do not click update template. We're clicking add template because it's going to make response three now.
And perfect. We have response one, two, and three. There's also something very important that I need to go back over and we'll start here in response one. And that's conditions. If you see the little conditions box here, go ahead and click that. And here you can set conditions on whether you want something to send or not. When you send an email out and it fails and that you get the response email telling telling your email that the email had failed and didn't send, it'll send response two and then response three to that email. So it's kind of worthless. So I like to create these conditions to make sure that doesn't happen. So if subject contains or if subject does not contain failure because if your email sent fails it's gonna you're gonna get a, a an email saying like mail mailer daemon failure or something similar so by adding this condition it's telling the software that if the subject does not contain failure then send it but if it does contain failure and this condition is hit it's not going to send response one so we'll just click update template and then I'll add the same condition for response two and then update template there you can get very creative if you're emailing with Craigslist um, you can add conditions like if the from address does not contain purse.craigs, then don't send it. Um, let me make sure from address and update that. These are just two examples of conditions that you can use. It might be a little confusing at first. I, I suggest making one test campaign and playing around with it and get a little more familiarized with these with these conditions. And then just click the template button to go back into template view and that's it. So if you go over here, you can see some more of our advanced features, such as extracting leads. Um, let's say you have a Gmail account with like 10,000 leads in it. This is great. You just go to accounts, you add the Gmail account as a POP3, then go to extract leads and then select that POP3 account and just click on extract leads and that's all there is to it. Oh, and you can tell over here, let's see, accounts. Oh yeah, it is enabled. Um, let's what's going on here? Okay, here, here now it's showing up. So, but there's no emails in here right now, so there's nothing to extract. Um, oh, one quick last thing here in templates, like a response to yay. I added a pick for you, and then we'll add to name. So it's actually going to be able to pull out their first name. So it'll be a, yay, I added a pick for you, whatever their name is. What do you think? Stick a comma in there and update it. This is when you click the update template button. Perfect. So we can extract leads with this feature. We can send test templates with this feature if you want to see what it looks like. Uh, monitor incoming leads. We'll, we'll run a little quick test here in a second so you can see how this works important export leads so here if you don't have live inbound leads I'm gonna go over in a second on generating leads and the different ways to do it but you can either import leads or you can post an email address around on like forum sites or dating sites and when people respond they come in as a live email and they'll get hit directly with your template one or you can just import leads to template one so make sure like your response one is selected and then you click add leads and you could and then you just click on a, a text file with uh, however many leads are in it you know a thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand leads boom import it and then it'll it'll queue them and then start sending them out 
We also have our proxies tab here, which is still a little under construction, so I wouldn't worry about that. Hopefully in the next update, in the next week or so, this will be working. We also have our CAPTCHA and our blacklist. If you, you can import a blacklist or you can export one. Just make sure that when you're importing leads, if that it, it'll check them against your blacklist to make sure you're not mailing any leads you don't want to be mailing. So now if we go back to campaigns, um, campaigns are always being auto-saved um, periodically, basically as you work. And anytime the program is closed, it auto-saves. Or if um, you ever run into some kind of crash issue, it'll save. So your campaigns are always saved. And you could always export campaigns. I, w I wouldn't worry too much about constantly uh, saving your campaigns to a file. You know, that's not something you have to do with this software. All right, so our templates are set. We have three responses. Our link is sent in response three. Now we're ready to test this system. That's one of the most important parts is test it before you start pushing leads to it. You'd be surprised how many times you make a small little mistake somewhere and then you push a ton of leads through it and they're messing up somewhere and you kind of just you're losing out on money when that happens. So this is why you want to test it. And that's what we're going to do right now so you can fully see how this software works. So our POP3, this is the this is what's collecting the emails. And if you if we go back to our C panel and we go to our email accounts, we see here this is my email. So if you go to more and then access webmail, it'll take you to the webmail and you can see your inboxes. So right now we have no inboxes, so let's send ourselves an email. Let's imagine that we post this email address on a dating site and say something like, hey, if you want to talk to me, send me an email here. And then I read this on the dating site and I get all excited and I'm like, oh, I'm going to send this girl an email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just that. I'm going to go into my Gmail account compose a new email. Remember, I'm I'm a lead right now. I'm a dude who's going to sign up to your affiliate link. So I found your your girl's email on a dating site. I'm all excited to talk to her. Hey, saw your email. Let's talk. Let's chat. Okay. With a smiley face. Blah blah blah. Send it. My message has been sent, so it should show up here in, in her email. And there it is. So let's run the software and see if it works. So everything is ready. Let's go to run autoresponder. So I always keep the timers ticked. I like to keep the auto scroll on, so this means they are now on. So in five minutes, uh, remember the in settings, the timer delay is five minutes. So in five minutes from now, it's going to run a POP3 and SMTP check. But since I'm not going to wait five minutes, you can click on manual POP3 check and let's see what happens. So here we can see the POP3, it checked the account my email address see so if we refresh it we should see that this now disappeared see it's no longer in there it filtered it and it deleted it it found one email on the account yep my email and it matched template response one and it deleted it so let's pause these for now so I can tell you exactly what happened in monitor incoming leads you can see now email number one here's the email if we go to templates, so it matched and response one is now pending. And it's going to send out response one. If we go to, if we click back on the run autoresponder, here we can see our logs. If we click on the manual SMTP check, it should now send that email out. So here we see that it, it found one enabled SMTP account, it prepared the response one that was pending. It used this account, this SMTP account, and it sent template one to our Gmail account. So if we now go to our Gmail account, 
here we are, Jessica. Hey, thanks for the reply. We can look it up. Hey, thanks for contacting me. I'm looking for a real man. Pick for pick. And if you would, if we go back, we'll see that this is this is the first template, the first response number one that you just got to the Gmail account. So we'll go ahead and reply to this. And just let's say I'm a guy. I attached a picture. Hey, great. Let's meet up and send it. And then if we go back to your HostGator email account, it, the email should now be in here. And there it is. So now if we go back to tier and our run autoresponder, if this was turned on, every five minutes your POP3 will check. We'll do a manual POP3 check right now. And what should happen? It found one email in your in your domain email. It matched response two. So now response two, and here we can see there's one email pending. So if we refresh this, this should now be gone because it deletes the message. And that is because of the tier settings. In the general settings, or in the uh, general settings of POP3, you see remove filtered and remove non filtered. So when tier filters something or if it doesn't hit any triggers, either way, it's going to delete it out of your POP3 account and keep it nice and clean in there. So now if we run the manual SMTP check, it should send out template 2. And it does. So we go back here to. And we can see now we got our third email, which should be template two. Yeah, I did a pick for you. What do you think? Now imagine there's a picture attached here because since um, I'm using the trial mode, I'm not able to attach pictures at the moment. Want to meet you. So let's just say this guy responds, "You look great. I want to meet you." And then once again, we should see that email come in here. There it is. If we run our manual POP3 check, it should check it, match. And now the, when the SMTP is run, it'll send it that last response. And here we can see we hit inbox. We hit inbox with a link. So you're inboxing on Gmail accounts with a link. It's great. It's a great way to drive traffic. It's the only way that I drive traffic and it converts very highly because because of this conversation you're creating with the account before sending your link keeps you f from hitting the spam box. So people will always see your link and people will always click on it and then sign up to your offer in this case a dating offer but keep in mind you can sell anything with this you can sell SEO your own products other products anything you want really you can get extremely creative with the ways that you use tier to market your own um, products or you even market yourself so basically the two ways that you can push traffic is either from inbound email leads which are live leads contacting your email address so that method would be your first template you would be you'd be spreading your from address or you'd be spreading gmails that are forwarding to your from address or yahoo emails that are forwarding to your from address and then your pop3 sucks up all those emails and then starts replying to them or if you don't have a good method of spreading your email and getting live inbound leads, you can also, let's say if you scrape leads or you bought leads, you can use the import um, feature. So you would select template one and then you would add a text file of however many leads and it'll automatically put set them as pending to be sent for response one. And then as soon as that lead replies to this email, it'll go on to two and then three and so on. And that's basically the 
a solid outline of how to use tier version 3. There's a lot of new features that are going to be added on here in the next few weeks hopefully. So just make sure you check in. Uh, if you're on your email list, we're always, uh, we always let you know when there's a new update available. And you can also add me on Skype, which is the.slug04. And that's our support Skype, so you can always send me any questions. Maybe you're having troubles connecting something or setting something up, so just hit me up on there. Other than that, uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this software and just get a little creative with it. And I highly recommend that you sign up to viceoffers.com. They're the affiliate network that the same guys that created Tier here, and they have some other software, and they have a lot of products, uh, coffee products, dating, um, enhancement, all those kind of things. So definitely go over and create a free account there at viceoffers.com and give their dating offers a try because most guys are hitting it pretty big, especially with their $110 CPA offer.